You're gonna be in trouble, Dad, when my mum finds out you've just had that sandwich. I'm gonna grab him up, so. I'm thinking our next holiday, we'll come here for a few days. Don't yeah, we? lovely. There we go, Space Shuttle Atlantis. Very theatrical, that Very theatrical. It? <laughs> it was really good, actually. Good morning. Good morning. Disney is over. St. Augustine begins. Disney's not over. <laughs> How dare you? We are just packing up. Hello, I'm there. Um, to go to St. Augustine for two nights. So Lee's packed 21 days worth of clothes. I packed four tops, four pairs of shorts, two, two um, pairs of shoes. You're planning on shitting your pants or something? Um, so we are heading to Cocoa Beach first. Um, to have a drink and some snacks at Captain Jay's and meet some patrons. Why are you not on the camera again? So, have we got everything packed? I have. Let's go. Come on, get that car back to you. Here's mine. Ooh, God, that's a bit struggle with luggage, you know. Right, I think we'll be alright now for a month away. Even though we're only going for two nights. Right, we're just calling it Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast. We've only been on the road 10 minutes. We've only been on the road 10 minutes, but Nick insists on stopping for food. And uh, obviously, I might as well eat while you're here. I'm a grown boy, and it's... You are. Outwards, obviously. Right, I've gone for the power breakfast, which is a bit of an omelette and some turkey uh, sausage. Nick's gone for a croissant. 710 calories. Oh my goodness, you fat git. Egg, you, and what, egg and cheese muffin for Uncle B. And uh, Dad's just getting the um, coffee and teas. And wait till Mum and Auntie B find out what we're having. They'll go mad with them. You're going to be in trouble, Dad, when my Mum finds out you've just had that sandwich. I'm going to grab him up, so. Yeah, but that can't happen because his stomach was upset. <laughs> Best get it down quickly. We just the, they're in Dollar Tree next door. We we'll just keep looking out for them. Can what see you? Don't get Brendan. I just had a cup of tea, love. I'm gonna keep him back from there. <laughs> right, they're here. They're coming. What you put? What you they're coming. <laughs> Hide it quick. Oh, his bellies are full now. Beautiful breakfast. We've got sausage Gavis. croissants with egg and cheese. Gavis. Donuts and coffee. They've had it as well. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, breakfast and things. They told us not to tell you. Brenda, what did they tell you about right? Do you believe them? <laughs> right, let's get to Coco Beach. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right, we're here on Coco Beach Pier. Now, we've never been on this peach, uh, pier before. Uh, so, do you want to go and point that and get your photo taken, Nick? Oh, yeah. Look like a plonker. I'll save the space for you. Don't worry. Don't let car key. Yeah, you look like a plonker. How oh, alright. I'll save the space. Are you going to be able to get back up? Oh, easy. Why do you think I've turned camera on? Right. right, photos are done. Photos are done. I'm going to be very elegant now. <laughs> Let me zoom in. Get lost! It's a good job you've not got a skirt on. <laughs> Easy. Right, so we're going to go on the pier because when we parked here, it's $15, which might seem pricey, but it gets you everybody into the pier and the car parking for the entire day. And then... Um, just for a bit of information, if anybody watched our March, vlog, March vlogs, so here's, here's the pier, and then just down there, by about 800 yards, is actually Captain Jay's, where we're going to meet our friends and patrons, Kate and Vera. Oh yeah, there's Lee there, he's off for a pee, if you haven't mentioned. So these are all the restaurants and eating places on the pier, and their opening times. Obviously, the opening times are, are, are seasonal, so that's kind of when they're open in October. You fancy a frozen banana with sprinkles? It does look nice, but not fun. <laughs> this pier is not. Oh, what's down there? It's closed down there. 
I'm having a look how wide it is. So the first bit's not very wide, and then it widens to the to the second part of the pier. Yeah. So it's about the same size as the normal UK pier after the first bit here. There's lots of gift shops. In yeah, there. I like them. We'll have a look in them. We're on the other side of the pier. So, oh, it goes all the way out there. Look at that. Look at that bar out there. Oh, that's my, now my favorite bar. Oh, yes. It's Ricky Tiki Tavern. Hey, get out of the way. Oh, yeah, I like that. Right, we're walking to Ricky Tiki Tavern. I think I'll have a nice iced tea here. I think on our next holiday we'll come here for a few days. Don't yeah, we? lovely. Just like spend it on the pier. Look at that for a view. Wow. It just goes to show you, doesn't it, that sometimes you need to get away from the parks. Are you going to blaspheme Disney now? Get away from no, Disney. no, no. Just get away from the parks, and then there's all this. In, there's Disney. all this exactly. Although, I love being in Disney, but you just got to force yourself sometimes to get outside. A lot of people say that they're coming to Florida but not going to Disney, yeah. and then everybody gasps and goes, <gasps> Yeah, but there's so much well, more. You, this can, is... you can make a holiday. I mean, look at this. I want to come back here for a couple of days and do this restaurant yeah. tonight, just for the atmosphere. I mean, it's nice going to the Polynesian, but it's all fake. This is real. Yeah. This is amazing. Look at this for a bar seat. <laughs> It's like I like that. Is this, is this trumping Captain Jays now? I'll taste the food first. Well, yeah. Waltz. But the, the view. Both are, ma both are amazing. It's definitely yeah. worth doing Captain Jays one night and then this a second. Stunning. I bet on a night it's when there's music on. I bet it's brilliant. Right, I'll have a nice strong beer now while you'll drive us to his next place. Huh? Huh? Ice tea, I'll have. Right, so Brenda has just said, Brenda has just said that she doesn't like, she doesn't like the, get lost. Jen, Brenda has just said that she doesn't like camera time. So if you are one of our subscribers and you think that Brenda doesn't like the limelight, comment below. Which I'm sure you will agree is absolute rubbish. These guys obviously know our, know our channel and they know that Brenda loves the time on camera. So I'm going to introduce you now to some of our subscribers. So this is Chris. This is Kate, Hi. this is Vera, this is Brenda, <laughs> and everybody else you know. And we're just finishing off a lovely meal on Cocoa Beach Pier. It's been a fantastic afternoon, and we're gonna head up to now to Kennedy Space Center and do three hours there, and then we're gonna go to St. Augustine later on this evening, aren't we? Check in. And check in into our, our new villa for two days. Oh, you got a villa? Yeah, yeah, we got a villa, yeah. We haven't seen it yet. See what I mean? Yeah. Brenda <laughs> loves the camera. Vera has kindly bought us a, uh, a little gift. Nick's gonna have a have a, a, a nosy now. I'm gonna have a look. Right, hold on. Oh my god. Oh, that's We've your favourite. We tried the the the, 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 the 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 hot ones, the chili oh, and the hot. jalapeno ones, and then we've got. Ooh. Sour, sour bright bats and cats. Well, we've not tried them before. No. We've not seen them. I've not seen those under the bar. Thank you. And the loving calories as well. <laughs> oh, M and M caramels. Uh, oh, I've not tried them yet. I'll have them. No, you won't. <laughs> You'll share them. And then we've got Some more M and M's. M and M hazelnut. We only get like two flavors of M and M's in the UK. That's what I've seen. Awesome, oh, Jim. That fine. You can have the M and M's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have some snacks oh, in the actually, car. You can have two packets of M&M's and I'll have the two gins. We'll have snacks in the car. 
Right, so we're in the car. We've just had lunch. We've met Vera, Kate, and Chris, um, and we're on our way now to Kennedy Navigate Space Center. To Kennedy Space Center. We're on our way now to Kennedy Space Center, where we're going to spend about three hours before it closes, and then head two hours Kennedy north. Space Center is 22 minutes from your location by car. In you know, I can't get a word in edgeways. 22 minutes. Ooh, and then we're going to head up north to St Augustine, um, where we're going to spend the next two nights. So we're going to have lots of fun there on the trolley train, and I've actually got Ben Brenda a bike. A, an actual bike. Eh? A push bike. Push bike. The villa that we've got comes with push bikes. Whoa. I rode one for what? How many years? Well, <laughs> they know what they say. It's just like riding a bike. <laughs> right, we've arrived. That was very quick. It was about. It, it was about 15 minutes from um, Cocoa Beach Pier to the Kennedy Space Centre, and we're just heading into the visitor complex where you can see here. And I want to go straight to see the Atlantis show. I thought you were going to say I wanted a wee. There we go. Kennedy Space Centre. So we're here for now for three hours. It's about half past two in the afternoon. We've got until six o'clock, so three and a half hours. And then we've got a two hour trip up to St Augustine where we start the next part of our little journey. So we're just driving up on the main road and I'm pretty sure that Blue Origin is the Amazon's um, private space shuttle thingamajig. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've read it somewhere that it's something to do with the Amazon and Jeff Bosey. It's like their, their um, commercial space venture. Okay, so parking is $10, which between six of us is not too bad, actually. It's only about $1.50 each. Parking compared to Disney. Right, Nick's paid for our ticket. So we got these um, Florida Tix cards, big deal cards, which I think you can buy from their website for $25. However, if you do buy them, don't expect to be able to use them because they refuse to use it at um, Kennedy Space Center. So um, it's fine for like restaurants and things like that. As long as they recognize it, they'll give you the discount, but they refuse to give us it for this. So here we go. Here's the uh, gate to uh, Kennedy. And we're going to explore. We're gonna go and have a look at the um, Space Shuttle Atlantis. Wow, that is big. Humongous. Each one of them is the rocket, solid rocket booster thing with jigs. Yeah. That's the fuel tank and those are the rockets. And look at the size of that thing at the bottom. The thrust out of that from those two rockets is enough to push a space shuttle into space. So we're going underneath this, which is humongous. And we're going into this building where they house the Space Shuttle Atlantis. And here's a little bit more information about that. If you want to pause and have a read. Space Shuttle Atlantis. Very theatrical, that Very one. theatrical. <laughs> it was really good, it was actually. Really good, though. How it just appeared behind the screen. Absolutely amazing. Yes. That thing has been into space and like come back again. And it looks like it's made of paper mache. When it you does. Look it does look like it's made of paper mache. Wow. I don't stand on fire because that was 
not nice. <laughs> that was really claustrophobic. I could feel myself starting to panic in there. I didn't like that at all. What was? <gasps> you do it then. <laughs> right, so Lisa, it's nothing, it's nothing. So he can get in and try it. Although it's a small space and it's Starfly it's light, it's, I'd think I'd, I'd prefer Starfly. Even though it's light, um, it's very claustrophobic. I'll pop my shoes Bye. Why don't you take the camera with you? Why don't you take the camera and show the viewers? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it looks so claustrophobic. This is going to be a bit di more difficult to crawl well, on one arm. You've got a tool in your hand. Uh, this is very difficult. It's hurting my knees too. Oh, how am I going to get down this little slide bit in with one hand? Freaking easy. Uh, apart from doing it one handed. Uh, and it's hurting my knees. Ooh. I'm sure you'll call. Especially when I don't let you out. Uh, and I trap you in the tube. It's just hard with one hand. Look down. Well, I'm not going to let you out, I'm going to keep you trapped in this tube. Can you feel there's people behind you and there's people in front? Are you claustrophobic? Not in the slightest. Oh, just take the camera and it can be. Get your shoes. Okay, so for everybody that's just watched that, it is as bad as it looks, claustrophobia. If you suffer from claustrophobia, that is not nice, trust me. Oh, can adults go on it? Let's go see. Oh, let's come on then. What a tit. Uh, bloody hell, it's fast. Ah, it's burning me ass. Ah, ah, ah. What it's like to be a big kid. That was pretty good, actually. I liked that. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? <laughs> right. Thank you. We've just run for the last bus. And I've got Stitch now. So, his mum and dad have obviously missed this. So, oh, oh, I need to get back into running, Jesus. There's so much food to eat this holiday. Don't blame running. the food. Right, so, we're on this lovely air-conditioned bus that looks brand new. And it's now going to take us, it's the last tour bus is at 3.30, so if you do make it on a, if you do come to Kennedy, in the afternoon, make sure you get the tour bus before you see Atlantis. Atlantis is up until six, but we decided to do it the other way around. Right, so while we're waiting for the bus to set off, we want to say hello to two new patrons. So, hello to Megan Farr. Hi, Megan. And hello to Beth O'Farrell. Hi, Beth. So, thank you guys for becoming patrons, and I'm sure we'll get to know you over the coming weeks. And if you haven't joined Discord, and do contact us if you've not signed up, and we'll um, get you online and chat to our other patrons. Okay, we're just approaching the uh, vehicle assembly building, which is the building where all the shuttles and rockets that NASA have ever constructed were built inside. The top of it actually will fit the, Royal, the, the Roman Colosseum on the top with room to fit for a parking lot and if you were to fill the inside of it it would take 250 billion ping pong balls to fill the inside now i'm having to talk over this audio tape that runs um but you can see it out the window there let me try and zoom in a little bit these are obstructing it a little bit but that's the famous iconic building that you see in all the um the, the, the films that have the nasa space shuttle in so things like um Armageddon, Space Camp, and things like that. So there are four bays in this thing that basically fits four rockets and all the spacecraft that were ever been made by NASA have been constructed inside this thing. The stripes on that flag are six foot wide each. And you cannot understand the scale. It's one of the biggest buildings in the world in terms of volume. the BAV at level 26, 274 BSLS rocket. The mobile launcher provides fuel and power to the SLS and the Orion. It's it actually a is stacking humongous. platform for the rocket. So the there's a platform next to this 380 foot tower that the rocket is actually built to. 250 next to, billion ping pong, pong balls would fill that building. Fuel and power. Wow. It's absolutely so amazing. Does the mobile launcher actually go all the way and to it the looks brand new. The it, does. it was actually and built in the 60s comes in, where the, the Apollo space rockets the were constructed inside. Pounds, right, so we're off the bus and we've arrived at the next exhibit. It's the, um, I'm not sure what it's called, it's the <laughs> Apollo NASA at the top. Some kind of, well, you give us some information. What were you, what were you doing while I were telling you? I was putting some photos on Instagram. Bullshit. 
This is new. This is new. This is new. We've not been in here before. Right, so his mum and dad are here somewhere. They've, they've come ahead of us. So um, I'm going to turn the camera off now while we get into the next room. When I was a kid, I used to dream about flying through space. Every week on TV, I'd watch my heroes jump into the rocket ships and took to the stars. And I wanted to be like them. Right, so this room is the the control room, which was which you would have probably seen in a lot of films. No moment after that. <laughs> have they just gone through? This is the control room from a lot of the films that you see in movies, where they actually look through those windows there and watch the shuttles get launched. And below here is all the buttons and things like that. So this is quite an old building. We've seen this before, about 10, 15 years ago. But this is the actual room where the where the shuttle. Um, where it was monitored, all these systems on board, all the communications and things like that was all monitored and controlled from here. And then outside the room is an Apollo rocket. Is it the Apollo rocket? Which I think is more impressive than the um, Atlantis shuttle because it's humongous. Well, yeah, but it's just a fuel tank that's there. Yeah, but it, I think it looks more impressive, me. There's Batty B and the oh, Falcons over there. Old relics from over there from the 1960s <laughs> and all. So this is one of the original Apollo rockets that they used to send the first man to the moon. It was on one of these kinds of aircraft. One nice thing about coming to Kennedy is it's quite chilled out, isn't it? Yeah, compared to like... It's not Disney crowded. It's not crowded. It's not rammed like the Disney parks in Universal. You can just chill out and... Unfortunately, we haven't had all day here, but I could easily spend all day here just looking at everything. Now down here, there's actually a capsule that goes onto the end of this rocket, which is what they're used to return the astronauts back to Earth. And I also think there's a gift shop, which I want to look in. Right, that's a nice shuttle, but I found shop, so come on, shop. I'm off in shop. Bring your credit card. Come on, you want to look in shop, don't you, with me? We're going to shop. We're going to shop, yeah. Do you recognise this astronaut, Nick? This is the first dog in space. Snoopy. Snoopy the dog. Right, shop time. Woo! I found the sale. I found the sale section. <laughs> There's no such thing as a sale in a place like this. What are you picking up things for? Are you buying some? Right? No, I'm not buying it for a Brenda. She wanted a flask. Nick. I like that. Hi, come back. Hmm. No. I found a, I found a no. bauble. No. It's Santa Claus with two bo two uh, four rockets. I don't give a shit whether it's heavy enough to be South Park, you're not having one. That's good as well. What's price? $11.99. Definitely cheaper than Disney to get merch here. Right, we've come to look at the shuttle launch experience, which I think is, is like a simulator ride. But Nick's not too sure whether it's going to be like Mission Space. Yeah, we'll find out, won't we? Oh, you know, but you put me off Mission Space by having a panic attack on it. Nick thinks he's um, landing the space shuttle or docking it. Come on, we're going to go in the simulator. Don't rush me, I'm flying, I'm flying the aircraft. <sighs> okay, so we're still at NASA and we've just rolled the space shuttle simulator ride. I have to say that the build up for it was fantastic. They, they scared the crap out of you, made you think like you were going to lose all your belongings and that if you were basically prone to claustrophobia and things like that, um, not to ride it. We got on it and it was absolutely garbage. Absolute garbage. You literally tilted you to a 45 degree angle and shook your seat and that was it. I really enjoyed it. And then the roof opened and it looked like something from Small Small World I without the music. It was utter rubbish. So if you are going to do this, don't fall for all the, the hype about how, how fantastic the ride is. It didn't feel like I was on the shuttle. It felt like I was on a ride tilted at 45 degrees with the, sheet, the seat being shaken. I enjoyed it but the big deal too much. Big deal majorly. Right, so it started to rain now, so we've had to come back inside again, but this is in the um, the 3D IMAX cinema where you can see a 3D show that features, I believe, Patrick Stewart. Unfortunately, we've missed the last show by 25 minutes. So, um, come into the light, come into the light, come out of the light. So, um, we've missed the show by 25 minutes, so we're kind of pondering around now, and it shuts in 25 minutes. So I think we actually made the mistake of coming a little bit too late, don't you? Your idea. Right. There's a shop over there, wasn't it? Okay, so the boards are wrong. The next show starts in five minutes. So we're going in. So we get to see this after all, which is pretty good. Okay, so it seems there's two shows. There's one 3D and one non-3D. So this is the Apollo landing show. 
So um, once we've seen this, we're gonna basically go back to the car and set off on our journey to St. Augustine. Okay, so we've had to cut the, sh the, uh, the show short because we are closing time basically. It closed about 15 minutes ago. So this is the rocket um, cinch uh, graveyard type thing. The others are now waiting back at the car. We have two hours now before we get to St. Augustine. So we've had to cut it short, unfortunately. We didn't get to see everything, but hope you guys had a, a, a brief idea of what it looks like and the kind of things that are here. I mean, there are dozens and dozens of things that we've missed. Um, but it's definitely worth a day out and have a look in the coupon books in the local sort of discount stores like Dollar Tree. There are often coupons that get you like 10-20% off. So it's been a fantastic day. Make sure you come early. Yeah. I would have liked to go here like 10 a.m. and done the whole day here. Yeah. Uh, but you know, sometimes it can be too much. I think we've we've not quite had enough time. No. We've only we've only had three hours, maybe four or four. five hours, and we would have got round it all. Yeah. So, um, right, let's get to the car. Time in any of the snack areas or the um, shop. Get your hand off my ass. Do that again and I'll snap it off. Set right, we're back in the car. Grandma's are having, are having snacks. They've been stood outside for the last hour. Oh, we're waiting on you two. It closed you? like five minutes ago, so you've obviously missed out. So we've got two hours drive now to get there. We were hoping we were, if we'd have known, oh. we'd have spent another five minutes in the shop. Too five minutes is far too many. Come on then. What, no weathers? No weathers, no. Okay, we're on the move. I'm gonna start these lot off on a sing song soon. So we're just crossing over the uh, the road networks that cross all these bits of seed from the island bits at Coco Beach. We'll be heading that way and getting on the I-95 and then traveling north for two hours. We're all hungry. And we're starving. I'll have to call somewhere for tea. They're all nibbling grapes and want McDonald's. So we've been driving what seems like... <clears throat> we've been driving now for what seems like hours. In fact, we have been driving hours. We've got another 30 minutes to go. And the oldies, I think they've nodded off in the back. I think they've run out of Werther's about no, half an hour ago. We have, we have not nodded off. Have you got any Werther's? It's you. They've, been, been, they've been sucking on Werther's and run out about half an hour ago. So there's been nothing but moan for the last half an hour. I'd love a Werther's. We haven't got any Werther's. We haven't got any Werther's. There you go. We've been eating healthy. We've been having grapes. Oh, they've had the grapes, grapes out. You know when you get an old lady that gets in front of you in the queue at Tesco and she gets the purse out to count all the money? That's them with the bags of sweets. God, this is like the longest 30 minutes of my entire life. Can you put your foot down, please? <sighs> right, so we've arrived in St. Augustine. We've checked into our apartment, which we'll show you in tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow, yeah. And we've come straight out for food. And we've come to a, a restaurant called the Sm uh, Mojo's Barbecue. So, uh, this is my meal. It's a smoked corn, beef brisket, and mashed potatoes with gravy, and two slices of white bread. So we're going to tuck into this and then we'll come back to you when we're back in the, um, the villa and give you a bit, of a, a bit of a view and then we'll show you it again properly tomorrow. Is that right? Right guys, so after a very long day, we've arrived back at the new villa, which I'll give you a little bit of a tour and I'll show you around properly tomorrow. But um, this place is absolutely huge. And I've just got to show you this TV first of all. Go and stand next to the TV, Lee. It's 85 inch. 85 inch TV. Uh, the biggest TV I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely humongous. The stand is about seven, seven to eight feet wide. Don't look out first though, is it? I think, I think, I think no, I think we might have one at Lodge actually. 85 inch, we'll just take a window out. So anyway, we're going to finish the vlog now, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow for a proper vlog in St. Augustine. And from what we've seen already, yeah. it looks like a very pretty, pretty the city. We've everywhere town, has... Quite Everywhere has fairy lights, it's amazing. That is a really nice Christmas shop I've seen. Yeah, there is. So, so if you're not already subscribed, guys, please click on the subscribe button to become a lodger, hit the like button, click the notification bell, and we'll see you tomorrow where we shall we shall show you around St. Augustine. We might get a tour or something like that. There's a red trolley at the end of the road apparently that takes you all around the town. So we're probably gonna do that. Yeah. So, so we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.